back to another LEGO review here at It's Just Bricks. Today we have our Corvette mock review that we have. It's lightly mock styled off of a Corvette. It's really like a sports car though. It's kind of styled off of that. It's taking cues from that, but it's not that in any way, shape, or form. Because in order to build an accurate sports car mock, it's nearly impossible since when you get going up to that speed, everything is slow curved. We're trying to do a Bugatti Veyron at first, and if you look those up, they are incredible. But it's just, it, the curves, even on this Corvette, we're doing a Corvette Z06, I believe. A 2014 model, and it is just so hard to get the curves. So some of the front features are modeled off of that, but it's very hard to do. But we did get it nice and low to the ground, and the scale is right to a minifigure to what a Corvette would be length and width wise. It's slightly wider than it should be, but very good um it's a, only a stud off the ground but it does not drag or anything it's a stud off but it works and we have those nice slick like tires on there um nice hood and front grill piece the back is not very corvette -y. it is a little blocky for it and it doesn't have that like light detail if you look the 2014 the new body style, it's like it was almost impossible to get that, so we kind of left it blank since we're not trying to necessarily be a Corvette. There is no detail on the inside since it's at minifigure scale, but it's not at Lego minifigure scale. You know how like a Lego City vehicle would be way smaller, so it you'd have to be brick building everything, and then we couldn't really get that to work, and we don't have all that tan um plates and bricks to make like the chairs and the console and everything so we decided to leave that blank in there but let's take a closer look right now here's a look at the car as we can see we did some fancy building in order to get that front piece to be sloped down the right amount and that front also that front um piece on the engine the beach sloped right that is somewhat accurate to the Corvette, but it's a little more blocky than it should be. And you see that front grate there. I like, I really like the grill, and I like that front bumper area and that other thing. So I think the entire front of the car went well, and I think the front windshield is very nice. We come over to this side is where it gets a little more disappointing for me. Um, it's fine on the side. We couldn't get side windows in there. But the wheel wells, they're a little skinny there, than they more, a little more skinny than they should be there. And it's kind of just like blank and then flat. But we couldn't really get any detail on there. So it's nearly impossible how it's just not really practical to do with Legos at all, at all in this scale that we wanted. We wanted it to be an actual scale, not a Lego scale, if that makes sense, what Lego does for their city vehicles. Um, we can see the back, that's that same windshield piece, but it's just straight up. And it's just quite flat on the back. It's not the Corvette look, but it was very hard to get, especially on the taillights. That's why we kind of left those studs blank. They, they could be like extra exhaust systems or something. Maybe it's modified. It's a slightly different vehicle, and they put four exhaust in running up through there instead of the back, because otherwise it would be too low to the ground or something. Kind of had to think outside the box, but that is a plausible scenario. It's all about creativity with this thing, since you're never going to get it to look 100% perfect or whatever. I'm quite happy with it, though. You can see you got our tires here and that. Now, like, it's one stud off the ground, so if you look, it is, it doesn't drag, but it is exactly one stud. You look at the bottom, it is pretty much completely flat, completely brick built, brick, brick built from scratch. I can't talk. And that. Um, these do come off, they come off as two pieces, and you can take a look in there, not much in there, but get just all the detail to get it to work, and as you can see, um, it's not the best look from the side either with that staggered effect that you got there, it's not nearly like a real Corvette would be at all, unfortunately, um, it's quite fragile, but, you know, almost it's almost better with those off. I don't know if that's like a, that could be an option. This is almost maybe an 80s vehicle. I don't know. It's hard to tell exactly what kind of sports car it is. I think it's definitely a sports car with its low build. Maybe it's some kind of modified 
like Camaro or something from way back when. I don't know. It's not trying to be any kind of car. Slightly modeled off of a Corvette, but it's still a red sports car. So what do you think of this um, mock? I am very, very happy with it. Um, I'm just not going to go in the city, though, fortunately. It's not the scale that we want. We're going to actually sell it on eBay, so I'm going to drop a link to that. If there's a link there, it will be available. Otherwise, it will not be available at the time that you're filming it, that you're watching this. Um, I like the fact that it is skilled right, even though it's not Curtis Blocky. But I like the fact that it is skilled right to what a Corvette would be if it was in the minifigure world. But it's not going to fit in with the city. It's just eight wide. It's way too big. I knew what I'm trying to do. But it's a very nice set. And I don't know. I, it's not really a Corvette as much as just a... Oh, it's a sports car from maybe some air. And it's modified. I don't know. It, it, it just takes on its own entity and became what I wanted it to be, more or less. But... It's not any sports car per se. So, there's where that sits. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time here on It's Just Bricks.